Hi, you guys. <clears throat> I don't sound really great because, well, I just had surgery and I'm not supposed to talk for three days, but I wanted to make a quick, a quick rant. <clears throat> Sorry about this. I wanted to make a quick rant about when I went into the surgical center yesterday, what they wanted to give me before I went in. Oh, I had throat surgery for anybody you knowing I had a growth on my vocal cords. So anyway, I, I, um, I go in the pre-op, right? So the anesthesiologist walks in and gives me, has a, a little thing full of pills. Okay, I go, oh, okay, what did you want me to take? She goes, well, the first one's Tylenol. The second one is a phentamine pill. You guys know that phentamine patch people are wearing that's killed people? She goes, next is a phentamine pill and a gabapentin and an allergy medicine. I said, if you give me, if I take those pills, I'll be dead before I even get on the table, before you give me more medication to knock me out. Oh, they gave me propofol, you know, the Michael Jackson drug, that you're completely unconscious. You guys, I, I refused everything except the Tylenol. Um, I just can't believe how they push drugs on everyone. And yet at the same time, she tells me when I'm leaving, you know, we hesitate to give people narcotics because they get addicted to them. And I'm thinking... You really just said that? You think people get addicted to that when you wanted to drug me? Let me tell you guys, I didn't need any of that stuff. I took a steroid when I got home because that helps with inflammation um, <clears throat> and healing. I'm not taking those drugs. I just couldn't get over the fact what they wanted me to take. I'm a lightweight, you guys. I'm a real lightweight. Had I taken those pills, I know that I would have been in the hospital all night last night. And I don't recommend anybody else take them. That was for no reason. Gabapentin is an anticonvulsant. Oh, my God. I would have been three sheets to the wind, high as a kite. And, <clears throat> and that phentermine pill with it? Are you kidding? I would have been dead, you guys. I know I'm repeating myself, but I'm so mad. I can't wait till I get the survey about the service there. Just wanted to give you all a heads up that if you ever need a surgery, you do not have to take anything that they advise that you take before or after. You are in charge of yourself. And other than just a little fever today, I'm going to get better. And I can think clearly. I would have been gone had I drugged up like they tried to do to me. <clears throat> All right, guys. Thanks. I'll, be, I'll make a video when I get my voice back a little more. It has to heal. Bye-bye.